What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are doing Squad Builder Showdown on Future Stars Enzo Fernandez because Chelsea are hogging all the transfers and all the Future Star cards as well, apparently. All the good ones, anyway. 90 rates, this man is 1.75 million, and we are joined by a man making his FIFA 23 Squad Builder Showdown debut. It's Shabba. Hello. Hello, everybody. How are we? I'm I'm good, mate. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited for you to proclaim to the people how you actually scouted Enzo Fernandez because you are a so rare merchant. I helped deliver Enzo Fernandez from the womb, mate. I, that's how that's how long I've known about Enzo. <laughs> <laughs> you knew about him before it was cool. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, that was me. So rare. This is not an advert for so rare. This video is not sponsored by so rare. So rare is a thing that everyone's getting on at the moment, isn't it? And props for it's due. They've actually found a way to make NFTs not pointless. Yeah, honestly, it, it's class. Um, Didn't think that was possible, to be honest with you. No, neither did I. But the utility is, is awesome. I love it. I love so rare. Why own a useless picture of a monkey? That someone can just screenshot when you could own a card that gets you more points in fantasy footy or something. I don't really know how it works. It does look kind of cool though. But my ball knowledge is absolutely non-existent, so I'd probably be terrible at it. Whereas you sit up till four o'clock in the morning watching the Cuban nah. Premier League or something like that, don't you? <laughs> no, not quite anymore. I was I was really into it like last year. Like I was staying up late watching River Plate and things like that. But now, like you know, I've got I've got the Freiburg game on the other monitor. Um, but no, I don't watch. I don't stay up too late anymore. Maybe when the MLS is back. Football, of course, only exists in the Premier League, in my mind. Exactly. Facts. Sean Dyche. Everyone else is playing some weird little version of soccer or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Dyche gets a terrible reputation, actually. Now, I am guilty of also joining in on the jokes of Sean Dyche's Brexit football eating worms and stuff like that. But since him becoming Everton manager, obviously Everton Twitter and the subreddit and stuff like that has been populated with Sean Dyche content. He's actually, like, really clever and really, really tactical. And I think he had to play, quote-unquote, Brexit football with Burnley just because of the calibre of players that he had to try and keep them in the league. And he actually got them Europa League with it, which is kind of wild. But he actually seems, like, really, really knowledgeable about football. And he's been on, like, people's podcasts and talked in depth about tactics and stuff like that. I'm excited. It's making me want to watch and actually watch and have some sort of hope. My heart is ready to be broken again, Haver, is what I'm saying. Yeah. I did watch that uh, 442 video he did, you know, where he's breaking down his like 442 tactics. I thought that was really cool. I, I like that though. Have you seen the one where he talks about the defensive V? I thought that was kind of crazy. Was that that video? Yeah, it was. I like, I like when managers and players like almost break the fourth wall a little bit and they're kind of like, they look like actual human beings on camera and just talk normally. Rather than copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. Yeah, yeah, the PR stuff, yeah. What do you think of the rules? We fought well, the guys worked hard. I'm looking forward to the next game. Oh, and do you think you could win the I'm just looking forward to the next game? That's all we're one game at a time, we look at one game at a time. Yeah, yeah, it's so boring. That's why. Shout out to me. That's why that Jota Squabbler Showdown was actually quite good because he forgot that he was doing an, an interview in inverted commas and just wanted the winning Squabbler Showdown and then we were just talking about random rubbish rather than who's the best player you've played with, Diogo? Like, that's just boring, isn't it? Like, so that video was actually quite interesting. So if you haven't watched that and you didn't stumble across my channel and didn't know that we did Squabbler Showdown with Diogo Jota recently, go and check that out. We also did Squabbler Showdown with Danny Aarons recently and it was the most ridiculous video of all time. So I'm hoping not to repeat that this time, Haber, and I've got a squad in mind this time rather than going in blind, making stuff up and Danny Aaron's get... I thought I was getting pranked on my own channel. It was ridiculous. So, without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start guessing. If you haven't watched Squabble the Shadow before, if you guess the formation correct, you can change it. If you guess the players your opponent's going to use as we go through section by section, you can replace them with absolute stinkers. And there is discards on the line at the end. And this man costs one and three quarter million coins. Hey, bud. What formation would you like to play your Enzo Fernandez in? I would love to play the 4 3 3 4 you may, because I wrote 4 2 3 1. Oh. I would like to play my numbers slightly jumbled around a bit. 4 3 1 2. <laughs> do you now? That's not a nice laugh. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> do you now? No, you can't. No, 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 no. We're not starting this again, because I've actually got a team, Haber, and you can't change the formation, because then the team won't work. Then I'll be guessing them randomly, making up loads of rubbish, lose all my players, and just got loads of coins again. Well, I'm sorry to say. You are changing your formation, buddy. You're not using the 4 3 one, two. Um, What would be a really evil formation to give you? Because I do have the 4 3 one, two on my whiteboard, mate. I hate this game. <laughs> Whoever designed this game 
is the worst, most handsome person in the world. <laughs> I'm thinking the 3142 is pretty brutal. 4312, you said? Yeah, basically, but just like jumbled around a little bit. You know, just your numbers, but jumbled around a little bit. Oh, that's not even the right one. That's actually slightly better. Oh, that's the right one. Oh, dear, <laughs> we are in trouble. <laughs> oh. Good start, Andy. Let's move on to the strikers. <laughs> Well, this has started absolutely dreadfully, but you know what they say, hey, about desperate times call for desperate measures. Do they? Interesting. They do. They also say go big or go home. And this, I'm literally mouse. So big it is. There you go. I'll have 95 Pele. Yeah, that's fair. You know, fair enough. And ones to watch Erling Haaland. Right, okay, fair play. I, I almost wrote down Holland. I wrote down uh, Martinez and Rashford. Thought you might go for the star boy. All right, well, yeah, you can have them I've both. I've decided I'm not discarding 1.75 million by risking about another four. Yeah, no, yeah, fair enough. That makes sense. Smart, yeah, mate. Logic, yep, yeah, I like that. Yeah, okay. Well then, um, I would like, because I'm going, I'm going for my front three. At left wing, Hyung Min Son. Okay, okay. Uh, right wing, uh, Bakayo Saka. Okay. And up top, the new Eddie Nketiah, please. Are you just building a team of people that are going to finish ahead of United? I have Hyung Min Son in there, mate. I thought perhaps you were as crazy as me. And to be fair, if you've got the good Saka and the good son, that is like a mill. And then Nketiah's Nketiah. But I went absolutely crackers and wrote Messi, Mbappe and Correa. I've been traumatised by Danny Aarons, basically. Yeah, fair play, fair play. So much so that I've just put Pele and I'm not going to go as mental as Danny where he used Team of the Year Mbappe against me. I'm not going that crazy and using Team of the Year Haaland because I value my life. Yep. <laughs> and he's like four mil. <laughs> but I'll have the ones to watch one who's like a mil. I've been upgraded a lot. So, you know, fight fire with fire. Fight conceding loads of goals because you've got three at the back with scoring loads of goals because you've got Pelé and Haaland, you know? Yeah, no, that makes sense. That does make a lot of sense, yeah. Fair it's enough. good logic, yeah. hopefully. Fair play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we move on to the midfield? Okay, Shabba, are you going to fight fire with fire? What are you going for? Uh, at centre mid, I would like... Um... It's the air of an unconfident man. I like it. I I'm feeling a win even with 3-1-4-2, you know? In fact, I played... A very angry ginger man called Angry Ginge. And he gave me 3 one 4 2 and he got embarrassed and he's scared to go on YouTube ever again. Fair enough. Because he lost to 3 one 4 2 And this is about to happen again. Hopefully. Please. Fair enough. Anyway. Uh, a centimid, yeah, anyway. <laughs> a centimid, I would like Rodrigo Bentancur. Okay. Just scored against Leicester and then now is 3-1 down at halftime. Exactly. Very sparesy. And then at Cam, I would like... The new Mudrick, please. Really? I was going to write that, but he's a mill and he's really bad. Is he? I've not used him yet. Don't tell me oh, that. Oh, yeah, he stinks, mate. Oh, great. Okay. That's not good. I, I did, literally, I didn't write it just because he's bad. You can have him. I put Sancho and Zachariah. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you knew I need that Chelsea link. Yeah. Sancho's a good shot, actually. I didn't even think about Sancho. I thought you might just build full prem because that's basically what I'm going to do. Also, I am not confident at all. I'm hoping for another 3-1-4-2 victory, but you are... Not as bad at FIFA as Morgan, so it is unlikely. So, in order to help me as much as possible, I'm going to pick the best CDM on this game, Palinia. Yeah, fair enough. And his road to the World Cup, or whatever it is, Path to Glory. And then I'm going to pair him up with the man who gets a link to him and a link to Haaland. Maybe a little bit bait because of the Haaland, but we're going for João Cancelo's Oop. Fair enough. I wrote down Erdegaard and Casemiro. Erdogan's very bait, and I was yeah. going to pick Casemiro. His World Cup cards can't play CDM. It's so stupid. So weird. It makes no sense to me at all. But I thought you'd pick Casemiro for the centre mid spot and go like a very defensive midfield, given the fact that you got three at the back. So that's why I wrote him down. Still fair. I respect the I respect the logic. <laughs> yeah, I I'm really not a fan of that Madrid. To be honest with you, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just bad. We'll see. Five star skills, you know. That, that usually makes me like them, but I, I just couldn't get on with them. But you're playing Cam. I played him left wing, I think. Oh, okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe he's better centrally. Oh, Jack made me use him Cam, actually, and he did seem a little bit better in Jack's football versus FIFA, where I showed off my impeccable ball knowledge. Yeah? 
Kind of, not really. <laughs> Speaking of no ball knowledge, though, you did say to me, I've just signed up to do Last Man Standing. One of the lads has won it eventually, finally, from the start of the season. So we're going again. I picked Newcastle. Right. Obviously, they play this afternoon, this evening. By the time this video comes out, Newcastle will have played and are hopefully through. Otherwise, I look stupid. You said Tottenham Haber. No, 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 no. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you don't, don't try and backtrack that's now. That's not true. You said basically a free win because no, they're playing Leicester. No. Guaranteed win, you said. And then you went one up and you thought you were a genius. And now it's free one. No, you said you almost, you said you almost picked Tottenham, right? And then I said... But I didn't because it's And then I said they're against Leicester. That should be a win for them. Because it should be. But it's not because Tottenham are crap, apparently. Yeah, Tottenham are Tottenham, mate. Do you know why they aren't doing so well away to Leicester? Why is that? Because most of the squad aren't in Leicester. They're rent-free in Pep Guardiola's head. There you go. And Pep Guardiola's got to travel a lot as well, so... Yeah, I seen a thing actually on Reddit where it was showing the closest games and the furthest games in the top five leagues around Europe. So, for example, actually the closest one in England, in the Prem, is Everton Liverpool. It's like 0.8 kilometres. Yeah. And for some reason, it was all around, so then it was like the closest one in... France was Monaco and someone, or then there's, there's what a French team that apparently plays on an island off the coast, which I didn't know about as miles away. Anyway, they had Newcastle and Bournemouth as the furthest one in the Prem. Right. But I thought it was Man City and any team that plays in London. You'd have thought it with the way Pep uh, made a big deal out of it, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, they just keep coming. Right, let's move on. Right then, you've got full chemistry, and I'm guessing, well, doing left mid or right mid instead of full backs. So it just couldn't really get any worse for me at this point, to be honest with you. Do you want to know what I want? I'd love to know. I've decided to play it, well, tactically by just building a Prem team, because it's easier to get players in without messing up with chemistry, because I'm already playing three at the back. But I'm going to pick players that have got the most defending. That's smart. Makes sense. It makes sense. Perisic. 78 defending at left wing. Unbelievable. Siege love to see. Get him in the squad. And on the right side, I will have my first owner, might I add. Team of the near. Bakayo Saka. 70 defending. Beautiful. I went with uh, Jacob Ramsey because he could play left mid. Um, and I went with team of the near Bakayo Saka because he could play left and right mid. Can he? Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, see, I've been playing too much Hogwarts Legacy to know that Jacob Ramsey exists. Ho, 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 ho. CDM, centre mid, camp and right mid. And he's in the Hullet Gang. Bloody hell. What's that, like 4,000 games of squad battles? I thought he was on the market. Oh, he is an objective, isn't he? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Um, I'm trying to pick a player for you over on that right mid spot. Do I have to give you someone that gets full chem? Now we play max chem this year because whoever you give me is going to get an exclamation mark. Well, I assume if you give me a trump card. True. So I will build my squad as if Saka is in it, but we'll substitute in once we play the game, whoever you give me. Makes sense. Um, deciding here, I think I'm going to go ahead and give you a, a, a legend of the game. A, an icon of the game, some would say. Ooh! Sir Philip Jones. <laughs> okay, okay, I like it. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a silver card. That's quite generous of me, if you ask me. Phil Jones and Gareth Bale are absolutely living the dream, by the way. I mean, Gareth Bale has now retired, but Phil Jones, what an absolute legend. Apparently, just a nice guy, rocks up to United training. All right, lads, how are we all doing? Yeah, good cheers. Let's play, have a bit of a kick about it. Yeah, go on, you go and play the game on Saturday. I'll be here next week when you come back to training. Gets paid like 100 grand a week. What yeah. an absolute legend. Legend, honestly. What a guy. He once said that uh, he would have a testimony at United, but no one would show up. Oh, that's actually really sad. It is, yeah. I'd show up, Phil. I'd go. Oh, poor Phil Jones. What a man. He's getting a flashback card. Is he? Again? Uh, someone made me discover my flashback Phil Jones last year. That was so good. I'm buzzing. Really excited. He had five, I called him Skill Jones tonight because he had five-star skills. Did he? 
I swear he did. Flashback Phil Jones, last FIFA, five star skills. Am I going mental? I think you might be going mental. Okay, he had two star skills. Maybe I was taking the piss, but I definitely called him Skill Jones anyway. Okay, who's a moment, SBC? You want it? I'm just off my head. Confused myself with a false memory. Hmm. Well, interesting. I think it's a great option regardless, Andy. <laughs> Would you like to know who I want? <laughs> yeah, because you got full chemistry. It's really annoying. I wish yeah. I. If you could swap careers with someone, just to go off on a slight tangent, who would you pick? I would pick uh, either Haney Mukhtar or Carlos Heel. They both MLS players, but they're just like so clear of every other MLS player. Like they are levels above. They live out in America. It's the dream, mate. They just they probably school everyone in training. It's the easiest kick around of their life. Like. Probably absolutely no bother at all for them. They, they're, they're heroes of their teams. I'd probably go somewhere like that. Just an e easy life. Being a, so, th yes, that is a very good option. But also, being a professional athlete isn't easy. No, it's not. People say it is, but it obviously isn't like... Your body gets battered and you have to train like six days a week. And yes, you'd probably only train like 10 a.m. till... 2 p.m. or something like that but it's like it's hard work if it was easy everyone would do it you know but you are just you, you are just in inverted commas playing football so i can see i can see what you're saying i probably would go gareth bale yeah made absolute wedge playing for real madrid spends half of it on the bench playing golf scored a few bangers in a champions league final as you do yeah that's true just played on the pro i'm a pebble beach man's living the life got a two handicap unbelievable what a guy that would be a good career. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Would, maybe people can let me know in the comment section. Oh, there's got to be a job that's better. Like some nepotism job or something like that, where you're just like Bill Gates' son and your job, it goes down on his taxes as your Bill Gates' secretary, but actually you don't do anything. You get paid like 100 million a year. That would be quite a good job. Because <laughs> people obviously there's better jobs than others, but every job has its flaws. Like people, oh, I want to be the king. I mean, I'm sure it'd be pretty good, but it'd also be a pain in the ass. Everything you do gets reported on by Piers Morgan, you know? Like, swings and roundabouts to everything. Yeah, true. I think, although it is hard to be a pro athlete, I think I'd still I'd still want to be, like, a footballer. Like, you know, I w I'd, love to, I'd love to play for United. I'd I, I would hate to be, like, a player that... Like, if, if I was a footballer, though, I'd want to be either the best player in my team or one of the best like if i was someone like fred for example who gets absolutely hated by united fans i think i'd rather just go to a team a lower tier team where i'm clearly like the best and just be loved by the fans and everyone cherish me did you see what hulk did well also what he did this weekend is he scored two free kicks in one game and one of them was going 75 miles an hour when it hit the back of the net did you see that no absolutely outrageous anyway he made wedge playing in china and the middle east and then said he just wanted to play for his boy club, which I think is Atletico Mineiro in Brazil. And then made his wedge, went back to them, won them the league, was the star player, absolutely adored by everyone, and doesn't really care because he made an absolute fortune and just plays football for the team that he supported. Scores absolute screamers of free kicks and stuff. He's, he's smashed it as well, to be fair. Yeah, I respect it. I just think, like, I can't imagine being a footballer and, like, being one of those players that just gets loads of stick and then constantly it just be negative and people shouting abuse at you from the stands and stuff. So you don't want to play for Everton? No. No. <laughs> well, this is the thing, like, I wouldn't mind... I thought about this, like, I wouldn't mind playing for Everton if I was, like, if I was somebody that, the like... This is the thing, if I was a footballer, and it's obviously easier said than done, but I like to think that I would give everything every week. And I'd be one of those players where it's clear that I'm giving my 100%, even if the team is doing badly, so the fans don't hate me. Like, that's what I'd like to think anyway. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example of a player. Do you put 100% effort into every single video you make? I mean, I know the answer to that. It's no, because nobody does. So... I don't think you do the same for footballers up. And there's a lot of people watching this who was like, if I was a YouTuber, I would try so hard every single video. But you don't, because it becomes your job. I think the difference is with the YouTubers, you can put 100% effort in and the video flop. Well, you could put 100% effort in and be Darwin Nunes. Yeah, but Liverpool fans don't hate Darwin Nunes. Nah, Darwin Nunes is actually really good. He's just a meme, isn't he? Yeah. You haven't told me what players you want as well, by the way, Hey, but we've got so side distracted. Good, good point. Um, right, so over at left back, I we're going to mix things up. We're going to go away from the Premier League. Of course. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a, the plane's going to do a Utah. We're going to go back to the Premier League. Um, so I'm going to go with Robertson at left back. Oh, you're taking the piss, mate. 
<laughs> You're going full Brem. Uh, then at right yeah, back. Yeah, because I've got 3142 and I'm just on the ropes. Right back, I just need to double check this is not an SBC real quick. Who is it? Uh, I'm just going to double check real quick. It's not. I'm going to go with your boy, Seamus Coleman. Nice. Where is Onana's future star saber? That's a better question than what's the best job in the world. Where is Everton in the Premier League? That is, that is the best question. I uh, 18 for think, mate. Ah, uh, well, there you go then. However, we're about to win the derby. I actually think you will. I back you to win the derby, to be fair. Uh, someone asked me in my chat, full-time streaming, by the way, twitch.tv slash Free. Someone asked me in my chat where I thought Everton would finish. And I said 14th and people laughed at me. Right. Everton only three points behind 14th. Yeah, there you go. Okay, it's a little bit, a little bit more now because of people getting points and playing games and stuff. But we're not that far behind, basically, is what I was getting at. When I looked at the table, we were only three points behind 14th. So I don't think that's too optimistic. Sean Dyche, absolute genius, mate. We're going all the way to the upper echelons of the bottom half. Up the toffees. <laughs> um, can I have them? Oh, you can have them. I put Hernandez in Calabria. I went with a uh, derby here, actually. The Liverpool, the Merseyside derby with my left back and right back. I went with a North London derby for my left wing, right wing. I've just realised I've gone with full like derby. I've gone with two Spurs, two Chelsea, two Arsenal, one Everton, one Liverpool. You know where this is going, don't you? Ben Godfrey, Van Dijk. Icon and goal to make it even. Nice. Right, Haber, there's been a lot of chitty chat and it's distracted me from the fact that A, I have 1.75 million coins Enzo Fernandez. B, I'm playing 3 4 1 2. And C, I then decided to put in Pele and Haaland. <laughs> Got a bit mental, and we need to just bring this back down to earth and a little bit of seriousness, mate. And we need a good team and a good performance in the match from the lads so we don't discard bajillions of coins. What also would be nice is if we guessed all of your players. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. I mean, that would be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be great for you. I have also just remembered that I also have Phil Jones. So it gets worse. Go on, fire away. Who do you want? Right. At centre the back, I would like... My first centre back is going to be an icon. Carlos Alberto. The base icon, 87. Just have him in the club. Why not? Untradeable. Might as well. Okay. My second centre back that I would like is going to be the... World Cup showdown, Agward, and then in goal, would love, absolutely love, the Winter World Cards, Darren Randolph. Brilliant. Man's built a full Premier League team, and I can't even be mad because I've done the same thing. <laughs> I wasn't going to, and then you did it. I was like, I might as well. Look, I'll be honest with you. It's my first one of FIFA 23. I wanted to be very, very basic. I will mix things up for the next one, I promise. Okay, well, what I'm going to do then is what I wrote down for you. Fair enough. Because I thought you were going to do something a little bit jazzy, a little bit spicy. So in goal, I'll have me nan. Right. At centre-back, I'll have a perfect link to it. Kalulu. Yeah. In the middle, I'll have the most, one of, if not the most broken centre-backs on this game. Lucio is pretty crazy, to be fair. Winter wild card Tamori. Yeah, he's nuts. Absolutely crackers. And then to tie it all together, we're going to go for an Argentinian from Spurs. And he's holding a World Cup, which they might be losing 4-1 to Leicester currently. They just, their goals just keep going up as we're filming this video. But not as we're playing the game for this video, Haber, because my defence is absolutely crazy. Romero. Ah! I wrote down... I, I almost wrote down Romero, but I wrote down Lissandra Martinez. I thought you'd try and be funny. And be like, I'm going with your centre back. Yeah. And then I wrote down. A very uh, small man. I wrote down uh, Gehi, uh, Thiago Silva, and a uh, cheeky little Kalo Navas. Lovely. Well, Kalo Navas has got an inform at Forest, hasn't he? Yeah, exactly. That's why I thought you might, you know, thought, thought you might try some funny business, Andy. That's what I thought. I thought you might try. It. And you did, you did try some funny business. I did business, try some actually. funny business, to be fair. You did try yep. some funny business, yeah. There is some funny business, but it's just different funny business. Exactly. Not the funny business I thought. It was actually a different funny business, but it's. Exactly. Uh, well. I'm playing 3 one 4 2 with Phil Jones at right mid against a full team that costs 5.1 million coins. And I've got about 5.1 million coins on the line myself. So this is going to go absolutely terribly. Let's get into a game. 
Oh, Philip Jones, my goat. We also worked out that my squad is 8 mil. My squad would have been more expensive. I was actually going to go with something similar as well with the uh, Dahlia League. Bang, 1-0. Yep, yep, Two. good start. Thank you. Nice, good. Good one, Eddie. Why couldn't you shoot me like you're one-on-one -on -one at Goodison? Shoot! Oh my god, he actually has. Oh my god, that almost went in. What? Nah. Oh, come on, Kalulu. Modric! Protego! Oh, Modric! it hasn't worked. Oh, Man God. Says Protego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on, Akenzie. Oh, you're joking lad. me. Bang! Protego! Oh. Yes! Who was that? Ben Tanker, I think. Skill Jones, mate. Sit down, mate, says Phil Jones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What a save. Oh, you're kidding. That Randolph's actually so good. I've used him a few times. He drives my opponents mental, and now he's doing it to me. I've never used him. I didn't know he was good. He's so good. I only put him in there for the five-star skills. Yeah, you just got to avoid the temptation of doing a elastico with your goalie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Offside, ref. Oh, not the fastest player in the Premier League. Lies. My game just completely crashed, by the way. 3-0 in that. They'll have three discards, please, please, Ava. I don't think that's ever happened in the history of Scobble the ever. But you were 2-0 up and it was basically half-time. Yeah. So we'll pretend I was just about to score as I was running for own goal there, so it's 2-1. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just play a half. Haber is 2-0 up. You're, you've had a team talk as well, I'm guessing, before this game. Yeah, told them, sort Can't yourself out. again. This is a joke. And look what's happened again. You've immediately scored from kickoff. Oh. Brilliant. <laughs> right. We're restarting the, the entire game. That, I'm just giving you two goals to make it fair, and then we'll just carry on and play the whole match. That's what it is. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely not 3-0. That's why, back in... You've stopped sweating more. Yes, good Protego. <laughs> Listen, Haber, we're all friends here. Yeah, that's true. Stop scoring goals. However, Mudrick has got a bone to pick with you. Could you call him bad? Yeah, he's dusty ball, mate. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with the Accio goal. Are you ready? Oh. Nice. Pele is about to say Alo Hamora as he opens up your defence. Oh, no. Oh, oh this no, that was a joke. <laughs> this card is so good. No, not there, Son. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Don't you. score. <laughs> How has it just gone from a Haaland missing a sitter? to concede in that. I don't want to say I'm panicking, but I am panicking. I'm panicking. Seamus Colby. Don't lose me, Pele. 85 years old. One working leg. I honestly give up. I give up. What's wrong with this? Discard him. Discard this Haaland. Expecto Patronum. Are you so slow? Oh, I've greened it and everything. Grow up, Randolph. Why? Why does one of them always step up and the other one just plays the world? The other two... Play the world on side. Oh my god. That's for that's for Mudrick. That's an absolute joke. <laughs> He's jumped out the way. He's got a tramp going in the last minute when you're 4 0 up, Ava. I don't understand how Randolph saved all them things. And then, my minion jumped out the end, away at the end. What's going on? It sounds to me, Andy, like you've lost the dressing room. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds to me like I've got six discords. Are, are you ready for um for the pain? You've got six discords. What an absolute... Um, right, from here on out, we're never getting formations again on Scotland <laughs> Show. <laughs> oh, 3 one 4 2. I'm going to go for... Your back three, your CDM, and your two centre mids. You got Jao Cancelo out of position. Oh, 350k. Yeah. Team of the Near, Mignon. Winter Wildcard Tamori, 600k. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. World Cup Team of the Tournament, Perisic. Yeah. 
World Cup path to glory, Romero. Oh. And future stars, Enzo Fernandez. Oh, no. No. Oh, I feel terrible. Andy, Andy, Andy. He's uh, he, he's risen in price a little bit since uh, since you bought him. He's like 1.7 mil. Honestly, I wish you'd, I'd have preferred just to get Pele. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I think this is the most expensive discard of the year. Six nil. Three million coins. Goodbye.